yeah, look at that. I got it up. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> got my new blinds up, and yeah, they've they've been up for uh, a few weeks now, I guess, and they've really been working. I did decide to keep this uh, curtain, I guess. Uh, yeah, I kept it up. Uh, and yeah, and I found that when you, when I closed this thing up completely and then, uh, pull this out in front of it, then it blocks out all of the light. It, it will block out like all that, all the light coming in from the sides, <laughs> which yeah, I got it really, really close. Uh, you, you can't really get it any closer than that. <laughs> Which, you know, actually wasn't uh, planned to, uh, how it happened. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, you know, uh, uh, there I am. I first took it in. To Home Depot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's ah, there's a mirror behind me. If I can find it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So I took the blinds in to Home Depot to have them cut, and I I was just gonna do like a quarter of an inch. Uh, I I didn't exactly measure it, which. I kind of regret not doing, <laughs> but I, I just thought I'd do a quarter, quarter of an inch and yeah, you know, just take, take it back in if it needed more. Uh, so yeah, so I take it in and the, the guy cuts it quarter of an inch and then I bring it back and it. <laughs> It fits, it fit in some places, but not in others, because I think the problem is uh, the wall is not quite even, not completely. Because I, I could fit it, fit it, like, fit it below at the bottom, but not to the top. So uh, I was thinking, dang, now I'm, I was so close again, and I'm gonna have to take it back in. So I, I took it in a second time to get it cut, and uh, th this time a different uh, guy was working the blind cutting device. I uh, yeah yeah different than the uh, one that cut the blinds. And the second guy, he told me he wouldn't do it, wouldn't, wouldn't cut my blinds because um, I custom ordered them online. They they weren't from the in store, and he he, he uh, mirror, and he he said that the uh, blinds ordered uh, online. Uh, are different than the ones on the shelf and they could damage uh, the, yeah they could damage the cutting instrument <laughs> and yeah and yeah this is the second time after the first guy cut the blinds on the instrument which yeah, I, I guess the first guy didn't know so, uh, anything about not cutting, uh, blinds that weren't bought in store. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully I didn't break the cutter. Yeah. And I, I even noticed the side of it. And I think this is the side that it was cut on. But it it looks choppy. It 
yeah, it didn't look well done, which was probably because uh, it wasn't good for the blade. So, yeah, but the, the second uh, guy, he said that, you know, I can either order new ones online and exchange this one, uh, which I had already cut the, these blinds, so no, couldn't do that. I, I didn't tell the second guy that I got these blinds cut on the slicer, whatever it's called, but yeah. So yeah, that was an option. Was not an option, and the second thing, thing he said was I could get like a circular saw and cut it, uh, which, uh, yeah, I looked for one at my parents' house, and they, they do have one, but I uh, uh, opted instead just to do a hand saw. Yeah, just because that looked safer, so. Yeah, took the hand saw and I, I think I literally only cut the, this top and this, this. I think that's all I cut. I might, might have cut that bottom one, maybe. Just, a, you know, it was just a little, little tiny bit off of all of them. I cut, but that worked. It worked, it got, it actually worked and got the blinds to fit and I was able to put them up and get them really close. Yeah, they're so close in fact that I actually can't fit uh, these end caps in on all of them. <laughs> yeah, and that one was also to hold it up from the top, which I guess I didn't need, <laughs> but yeah, I can't, can't get these end caps in, uh, up in here. I got them in on the bottom, uh, yeah, because again, I, I think, it, I think the wall is wider a little bit more at the bottom than it is at the top. So yeah, I got both in, end caps in at the bottom, but not at the top. <clears throat> but it works. So yeah, <laughs> and and I like it. Yes, I like it. I like the top down, bottom up. Although the only problem is that it has been so freaking hot here lately uh, that uh, I sometimes have to sleep with the window open to get some cold air in at night. So I, I have to like leave the blinds open a little bit like that so air can get in. And then I pull the curtain over so the light it's still blocked, but but yeah, th this is actually kind of what it would look at night uh, when I have the window open and when when it's actually cool enough to open the window at night. Cause this week has been like 104, 105 degrees during the day, and then at night it doesn't even get below 70. So I've just been keeping the window closed and the blinds and my AC on, which is actually in the other room. Yeah, that, there's the AC below this window, but it's like diagonal from my bedroom door. So the air doesn't really get in here, the cold air. So I'm using this fan try and blow cold air in and I've 
just been sleeping on top of my bed sheets at night and having that fan blow on me at night just just because it's so hot thank you climate change yeah so i uh got it done my uh project apartment project i guess <laughs> and yeah and the, the also the good thing is that uh my landlord uh has it so i can send him the receipt for any big purchases made for the apart apartment and he'll just take that off of my monthly rent so yeah that's great because that means that this was actually a part of my rent for a month and and i didn't have to pay extra uh, and yeah i also did that for the lock in my doorknob uh on my front door it it, it broke and uh, I had someone come out and fix it and then sent my landlord the receipt and it was a part of my rent. So yeah, that's great. I, I like that. I, I don't have to pay my rent and uh, also pay more money for, for stuff like this, which will probably just stay here after I move out is yeah I doubt I'm going to be taking these blinds I'll take the curtain yeah definitely but not the blinds because they're they are uh custom cut for this window yeah so yeah looks like they're gonna stay here forever <laughs> yep but yeah I got it done and I like how it turned out.